We are at day seven. We are so close. We only have four more workouts to crush before we're done with our 10 day challenge. I'm super excited. We're getting there. It's one day at a time, one ab challenge at a time so that we can have all of our packs of our abs and we can have a strong core. So let's get going. So just like we've done in the past, we're gonna do two different exercises, but in this case, instead of going up on time that we're gonna be holding something, we're gonna go be going up on reps. So I'm gonna show you the workouts that we're gonna do and tell you how many we're gonna be doing, and then we're gonna do as many as we can in 10 minutes. I don't know if that makes sense, but let me just show you. So the first thing that we're gonna be doing, we're gonna have our legs completely straight, and we're gonna pretend that we're gonna do a mime rope climb. So we're gonna hold onto the rope, and pull ourselves up on the rope, pull ourselves back down, and then come right up into a reverse candlestick. And then we're gonna go from there and we're going to do bicycles. Okay, so we're gonna start off and do five mime climbers, is what I'm gonna call them, um, to candlesticks. And then we're gonna do 10 bicycles on each side. Then we'll go to 10 and 20, then 15 and 30, and so on and so forth. Now, you can go at the same pace that I'm going, or you can crush me and go way faster. Or if you wanna take your own personal time, you can do that as well. What we're doing is we're gonna set a time limit for 10 minutes and you're gonna get as many done as we possibly can in that timeline. So make sure that you go at a pace that you know you can continue going at 10 minutes. If you need to take a break, you need to push pause, feel free to do so. Try not to, but this is a, it is a challenge, so you really wanna step it up, but at the same time, this is supposed to be fun. So make sure that you're staying within your own capabilities. So let's get started. We're gonna start in three, two, one, and we're gonna pull up, and we're gonna pull back down, and come up. And like I said, you can kind of go at your own pace. So if you want to go a lot faster, if you want to go a lot slower, that is completely up to you. And now that we've done five, we're going to go and do 10 each side. And we'll go again. And really try to like pretend you're a mime. I think it'll help you get your abs going a little bit better. I'm already sweating, which is fun. Means we're working hard, right? And I'm also trying to keep track and talk at the same time, which can be a little challenging. You'd think I'd get used to it now. It is our seventh video that we're doing. And now we're going to do 20 on each side. So the bicycles are gonna be staying like with pretty even numbers, 10, 20, 30, 40, and then the others are going up by, 10, by five. So if it's easier for you to kind of like remember, then that'll be good. All right, now we're doing 15. So we're about two minutes in. So make sure that you are taking your time. But you are also pacing yourself. Let's see how many you can get up to. And I wonder if you like did this a few times how many, how much more you could improve. Like, oh, before I only got up to 30. And this time I got up to 50. You never know. And make sure that you're keeping your legs straight because that's a big part of it. It's gonna allow us to just not use our legs as much, you know, when we're doing it. Kind of keeps it nice and relevant, I guess. I 
And now we are doing 30. Feel the burn. Burn so good. All right. We are almost about four minutes in, so just keep going. One minute at a time, one rope climb at a time, one bicycle at a time. At times like these, it reminds me of just like going on a long run. You're kind of at a point where you gotta turn your brain off and just let your body go. Let your body feel the way that you're pushing it. Steer into any pain that you're feeling, as long as it's good pain. As long as it's like burn pain and not like, ah, I threw my back out. <sighs> Keep going. We got this. So we're on 20 now, which is crazy. It's almost like these are just like really slow straight leg sit-ups, which seem easy, right? But then you do them and you're like, oh snap. These are actually kind of hard. Four more. One more. Time's actually going by pretty quickly. Now we're doing 40. I actually really like bicycles. I can, I always feel like I can really feel my abs working when I'm doing them. We are six minutes in. which means, to be honest, that we're almost done. It seems like we've got a ton more left, but honestly, like, think about like, oh, two minutes in, four minutes in. Like, we're almost done. The time's gonna keep chugging, and we're gonna keep doing our core, just getting stronger every single day. One workout at a time, one minute at a time, one day at a time. We're on 25 now. I feel like 25 is a hard one because we're working our arms. Honestly, we're working our legs. We're working our core. We're kind of working everything. We got this. Just a few more. All right, 
Now let's get some bicycle design. Now we're doing 50. And to be honest, we've only got about a minute and a half left. So this is your time that you can either up your pace if you want to like try to rack out one more. You only have a minute left, so you may as well just go for it. Or you can say, you know what, I feel really good right now. I'm going to keep steady on my pace. Up to you. Keep those abs engaged when you're doing this. We got this. We are a minute away. All right. We only have one more minute left. Let's see how many of these we can rack out in a minute. You got this. Just a little over 30 seconds. Keep going, come on. Let's see how many we can get. Here we go. Push yourself right here. Let's see what you can do in 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. We did that. Holy cow. Good job, you guys. Honestly, this was a good one. Your abs should be feeling really good. Make sure that you're getting a good stretch out. Stretching out your abs, stretching out your hip flexors, getting all that work in. Whew. Man, I love a good ab workout. Isn't this fun? You guys, we only have three more sessions after this. And then you can say that you did the 10 day ab challenge. Like this challenge is hard. It's a really hard challenge. And imagine if, you know, you just took one 10 days in a month and you decided to do this challenge every month. Just once a month, I'm gonna do this challenge. Think about your core strength how much better you would get every single day. It doesn't take anybody else. Nobody else can tell you to do something. Only you can tell you to do something. Only you can be the one who gets up and do it. I can show you what to do, I can challenge you, but you guys are the ones that are gonna actually have to get on the ground and do it yourself. You can do it, I know you can do it, I know it's gonna make you better, I know it's gonna make you happier, it's gonna make you feel accomplished. Let's go you guys, I'll see you tomorrow.